we're gonna do eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is always fun. So we're gonna play around for a little bit with some eyeshadow. So colors in here. Chai, Cole, Sabrina, and Angel's Landing. And then I always keep my brush clean and towel when I'm going into some of these, especially these darker ones, just so that way I can make sure that I get off any extra pigment on my brush. So this is the eyeshadow brush. Love this brush. This is the one I reach for the most. So I'm gonna go into Chai first, so that's this one. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna build up a base with Chai. So I did bring my brightening onto my lid and I just need to set that. Let me see if I can move this. I'm trying to adjust my mirror so I don't have to look so far over to the side for you guys. All right, so here we go. Again, this one's Chai. I think this is just a, such a good color, even on its own, especially if you're more of like a really neutral type of eyeshadow person. Like this is it. You add this and just the tiniest bit of shimmer and you're good. All right. I didn't bring it all the way up to the brow, but I have covered my whole lid other than this one little spot right here. Um, powders blend better over powders, so I always set my whole lid. All right, now we are going to go into coal. Coal is a little bit dark. I'm going to go into the opposite side of my brush, the more dense side, and I'm going to do like a tiny pat of coal. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to do a V out here. I'm trying to go very light handed up here on the brow bone. I did a little bit darker here going to the lash line. But I'm trying to do a light hand. Also, it's, try not to pull that front of you guys either. So it's hard for me because I always want to do this to put my eyeshadow on. Don't do that. Try to relax. See, I have a hooded eye. So when I relax, that color disappears into the crease. So if you can relax when you're putting your eyeshadow on, you will be able to see what it looks like to other people. Cause you don't walk around like this. <laughs> so you just wanna make sure that you relax as much as you can, bring those brows down, and you kinda wanna blend this stuff up right here, this color. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I kinda gotta do this for a second. So I'm just kinda drawing a line, kinda like you would do like a winged eyeliner. You just kinda Draw it from your lashes to the tail of your brows. All right, now I'm just gonna bring, every time I tap in, I do one little tiny pat. These eyeshadows are super pigmented, so you are not going to need a lot. I am gonna take the tiniest pat of coal, and I'm just gonna do that here on these outer lashes on the bottom. All right, now I'm just gonna flip back over to the fluffy side and I'm going to lightly blend this. So just these like small circular motions and you can windshield wiper up here. You're just trying to blend out that darker color. It still creates depth and the eyeshadows are the same as the foundation. If you wanna build it up and you want it more dramatic, just add a little bit more. But I always, always think that it's better to start off light so that you don't overdo your eyeshadow. And once you blend it a little bit, then you can go back in and add a little bit more if you want, if you want a little bit more dramatic V out here on your crease. I feel like I need a little bit more on this side and then I'll blend again. So, like I said, you can just do these really light like small circular motions. And I kind of start right here on the outer lashes and small circular motions and blend it up. Same thing over here. And there you go. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep blending until I'm happy. Okay, there you go. And then I had a little bit on the bottom. If you ever feel like you have too much on the bottom, which I don't, so I'm not gonna actually touch, but just take this fluffy end, same, and just blend on the bottom. 
Okay, um, I'm going to scrub off that small end here on my brush cleaning towel and make sure that all of the coal pigment is off. I don't want any pigment left on there for when I move to the lighter color. But for now, I'm going to go into Angel's Landing. So that's this like shimmery one. And most of the time with shimmers, I put them all with my finger. I feel like they transfer better. If you like a lighter shimmer application, then use your brush. Um, but if you're trying to get the most shimmer out of your eyeshadow and just do this. I'm having a little bit of fallout, but I'll show you guys how to fix that too. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I don't think I've ever used these colors together. And I like it. I like it. All right. So there's that. If you feel like you need to blend, go in with the fluffy end and give the lightest blend ever. But as long as you don't have any harsh lines, you're good. All right, so now I had cleaned the coal off this brush. There should not be any pigment left on this brush. Give it a few more little scrapes. And then I'm gonna go into Sabrina, which is this one right here. It's really similar to Drift. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love Drift. And I'm gonna go here with it. And I'm even gonna pull this up a little bit more onto my lid, I think, than normal. I'm sorry, I had my face turned. So I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit more than normal through there. You can see some of the glitter, the fallout. I'm gonna swipe it away. I'll show you in just a second. So again, do it here just to make that really pop. And there are so many eyeshadow combinations, but this is two mattes and two shimmers. One is um, a little bit like this shimmer. You can't tell that it has as much shimmers like this. But this is not a glitter. Our glitters are in a separate section and those are like glittery. If you get a glitter, I would suggest a, um, like an eyeshadow primer. They even make specific ones for glitter. You don't have to take it that far, but I would definitely use an eyeshadow primer if I was using one of those. All right, so I took Sabrina a little bit further up than I normally take drift. So I did this whole tear duct here and I did it about to here. Okay, so there's that. Um, I am gonna take a little bit of Sabrina and I'm gonna pop that right here. Just gives off a little bit of a glow under your brow. So there's that. All right, and now I had the tiniest bit of fallout, so I'm gonna take the very fluffy end of my blush and bronzer brush and I'm just gonna swipe it away. Like very lightly, just do that. All right. Now I'm going to use the eyeliner. I've got this one today. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. Picked it up at Walmart. Um, and when I do my liner, I typically only do the top and I normally, um, sometimes I go all the way across. Most of the time I go all the way across. So let's just do that. Sometimes I only do a half of my upper lashes. And if you wanted to get fancy and do a little wing, just flick out from this outer corner here or pull in however you need to do it. There's my little baby wing. Hello, baby. This one, it comes out fine. I haven't used this one but a few times, but it comes out fine. I don't feel like I have to like tug really hard, which is always, that's I don't want to tug on my eye. And I don't want to have to like hold my eye out to the side either. I don't want to do that. I want something that comes out pretty smooth. And this one's not bad. And another little baby wing. Oh, oh, I might have got it too big. Oh, it's okay. There we go. So there's that. This one might need to be just a touch bigger. There we go. There's my wings. All right, now I'm gonna do mascara. What am I gonna do today? I'm gonna use these two. These are both Walmart. Let me curl my lashes. All right, so we'll see what we got here. So I have a, this is a L'Oreal um, Voluminous Primer for mascara. I mean, 
it's fun. It does change how I feel about some drugstore mascaras. Um, and I do top lashes with this. But this has made me like some of the drugstore mascaras a little bit better. All right, so there's that. And then I picked up, which one did I grab? The Maybelline Lash Discovery. It's got like a little tiny brush in it. So it's got this little teeny brush. I don't know exactly how long you're supposed to let that um primer dry. All right, so I'm gonna do like a really good coat here on the top lashes. I'll go back and do a second coat in a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit on the bottom. I don't do much on the bottom, just a little bit. Like I said, I'll come back and do another coat. All right, so let's move over here. I feel like I have too much primer right there. I'm gonna swipe a little bit of that away. Okay. You can probably hear my kid's TV show when I have to record. I'm like, yeah, just as long as you'll be quiet for just a few minutes, you can watch whatever you want. <laughs> All right. And this, I like the little mini brush on this one. This mascara is fine. If you're looking for a different drugstore one to try, I've told y'all a million times. Tell y'all again. Where'd it go? This was my favorite. Where's it at? Don't you tell me I don't have it up here. Oh, here it is. Illegal Length. Maybelline. Favorite drugstore one. All right, I'm gonna go into a second coat. I feel like you could even go in and do like a third coat with this. There's a bee flying into the window. All right, one more coat over here. And that's kind of it. I guess that's it. And there we go. Okay. So colors used. Chaff, Cole, Sabrina, Angel's Landing. I actually really like that color combo I feel like that will work for everyone and I'm glad that I put those colors together and the brush cleaning towel so that's pretty I really like that um and then I used Maybelline Lash Discovery with the mini brush mascara and Maybelline this little tiny skinny pink master precise skinny gel pencil it works fine you don't have to tug so that's it for today and I'll see y'all later. Bye.